It's an afternoon of heavy drama. The entire Villa clan shows up for a star-studded Senate opening. Now showing is Senator Bong Revilla's privileged speech, calling plunder allegations against him over the pork barrel scam a show of the Aquino administration. He links the corruption scandal to the 2016 polls and the government's alleged incompetence. Nito lang, na bisto na substandard, overpriced, at di ayon sa specifications at building code ang mga itinatayong bankhouses para sa mga biktima ng Yolanda. Mismong mga biktima, binibiktima pa. Anak ng tetang, yan ba ang daang matuwid? The actor-politician comes prepared with an audiovisual presentation, including the controversial video of Interior Secretary Mar Ross's meeting with Tacloban Mayor Alfred Romualdez. Nang tamaan, Nang bagyong Yolanda ang kabisayaan. Ang tugon nila, bahala kayo sa buhay nyo. But Revilla does not stop with Rojas. He implicates President Aquino and Budget Secretary Butch Abad, saying they personally appealed to senators to convict former Chief Justice Renato Corona in secret meetings in Malacanang. He shows a photo he took of his VIP driver. Nagulat ako ng sinabi sa akin ng Presidente. Pare, parang awa mo na. Balato mo na sa akin ito. Kailangan siyang ma-impeach. Pagkatapos nun, pinasakay na ulit ako ni Secretary Maroha sa kanyang itim na SUV at inihatid niya ako sa isang restaurant sa labas ng Malacanang. Nag-aapura daw itong si Secretary Boy Pickup at kaya naman pala, may iba pa siyang pipikapin. It's not just Rojas who gets a Revilla nickname. The senator also hits principal whistleblower Ben Hurlui for admitting that he faked lawmakers' signatures. Sa mga tuwid, eto pa lang si Ben Hurlui ay si Boy Pirma. Ginoong Pangulo, kung ang mismong DBM nga may Boy Xerox na namemeke ng mga saro, bakit napakahirap paniwalaan na dito sa PIDAF ay meron namang boy pirma na namemeke ng pirma sa mga dokumento. Bakit paglilinisin ang tauhan nila sa DBM? Not guilty without thinking. Pero kapag kalaban nila, no way. Oh no, Mr. President. That's very... Ah... Uh, Abad. Revilla denies dealing with Napoles and her employees, saying his wealth came from his 30 years in show business. He discredits the evidence against him by bringing in a special prop. Pakipasok nga ang truck ng ebidensya na yan. Ito po ang sinasabi nilang isang truck ng ebidensya. Ito pala ay truck-truckan lang ng bata. The once popular senator pleads to his fans and voters to believe him, saying he too wants justice. Boy pick up, boy pirma. Revilla gives a mouthful on the politics and plot allegedly behind the scam. But he is silent on many key questions. How exactly did he know Napoles and why did he confirm the authenticity of signatures only to later deny they're his? Ayim Kraig, Rappler.